Hey guys, welcome to the 138th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish working on our button. So, the first thing that we're going to do is make it so that when the user um, clicks on the button or holds their mouse down on the button, uh, the button turns like a yellowish uh, orange. So, what we're going to want to do is go over to our control designer. Scroll down on the events to mouse down and then just double click on that to create a new event handler for it. Alright, so what we're going to do is just basically redraw the button with a yellowish color. And I already have that yellowish color all written out so you don't have to watch me figure out what color we want. And basically to make this yellowish color uh, I just added 15 to the red to make it more red. Um, I took away from the green to make it less green. and set the yellow to 150 and that, or I mean the blue to 150 and that all together made it like a yellowish orange. So now that we have our color all set up, all we have to do is draw the button with that color. So we can just say draw a button and then my color. So now when we go back to uh, our form right here and debug, click our button, see it's yellow and then when we release the mouse, it's not yellow anymore. It's reset to the default. Alright, so now we're basically done with our button. The only thing that we're going to do now is make it so that the user can choose what color their button is. So what we're going to do is go back to our button and create a new property for the color of the button. So we're just going to say a public color um, button color and then we're just going to set up a color up here, a private color variable, so that we can get and set that. So it's going to say color, and I'll just call it my button color. So now we can um, set uh, this my button color. So we can say my button color equal value. And we're just going to get and then return the um, uh, my button color. All right. So now that we have this button color set up, the user can choose um, the color for their button. So instead of using this control color, we can use the color that the user selected. So my button color. Same for down. Here. Alright, so now let me go back to the form and we build here. We're going to get an error. And that's because um, the, or the uh, color is defaultly set to white. And um, we cannot uh, subtract 30 and like 5 from white because that would make it negative. It would make it like negative 0. So what we're going to have to do right here is when we set it, we're going to have to call this draw button method. And if there's an error, we are basically just going to tell the user that they need to choose a valid color. So we're just going to say try and do this draw button method. We're going to call it and we're going to pass through the button color. And then if there's an error, we're just going to catch it and tell the user that they must select um, a valid color. So we're just going to say uh, message box dot show please select a valid color alright and then if it once it catches it we're just going to set this uh, my button color equal to the default value which is just control so I'm going to say my button color equals color dot from known color and then just that control color all right, so now when we go back to our form and build, it's going to say that we need to choose a valid color. And instead of it just crashing, it changes the button's color to the default. So now when we change, choose a button color, like this active caption right here, it changes it perfectly for us. Now when we debug, still have that color. And you can obviously set properties for like when the user selects it and when the user clicks it as well for those colors, but I'm not going to get it because you guys uh, basically already know how to do it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.